Hi everybody, I wanted to share with you a new Target exclusive vinyl record, the one by the Rolling Stones, this wonderful album, Hackney Diamonds, which uh, I can't remember the last time there was a new album by uh, anybody or an older artist or a new artist where I went this crazy in love with it. I really, really like this album a lot. And uh, I wasn't going to get the vinyl necessarily. I bought the CD and uh, I said to myself, if the CD is somewhat good, I may get a vinyl with it too. Well, I could not imagine and I could not have predicted that I would think the album CD was so wonderful. Um, so, yeah, I love this album. There are many, many different versions of this coming out uh, on different kind of colored wax. Um, also, I think there's going to be, I heard something about baseball covers or something. I don't know. All I know is I went with this one because it was the easiest one to get right now. And uh, there's one color I may I may also get after this, which if I decide to do that, I'll talk to you about it and show you. Well, anyway, I've seen some videos about this album, opening it up where people opened it up, and... It revealed the gatefold cover, which was boring as hell. You know, it just had the name of the Rolling Stones in the gatefold. Nothing worth seeing, really. So what I decided to do is leave the shrink wrap on here. I'm not going to take it all off. So I'm going to do this because there's no point, really, in opening up the whole thing, taking the shrink wrap off the entire thing. Now, this is going to be tricky, so bear with me a little bit here. Yeah, let's talk about the album a little bit. I did a lot of videos on this. Uh, seems like a lot. Well, at least two. <laughs> it's two a lot. You might want to go check it out. I did a live stream. Check it out in the live section. If you can, hit the live tab. And you'll see we did a panel discussion where three of us talked about this album last night. All right, here we go. I got it open. So, yeah, I have a lot of positive things to say about this release. Okay, so now it has a poly inner line sleeve and here it comes. Yep. This is called Purple Translucent Vinyl. This is 180 gram. It's a very thick record. And I always wonder when you see these things, if there's justice being done to the color here, because it looks always looks more amazing to me in person than it does on camera. Sometimes the camera doesn't really show how nice it is. It's purple. Now I know there's a green one out, um, and unlike say McCartney three, where I was a collector because that's Paul McCartney and I'm a big Beatles guy. Um, I don't see myself trying to get every variant, believe me. But the thing is, I like the cover differences. Some of the covers have different. For example, the green vinyl. You see this one here? It has the hand on the bottom here, on the artwork. Well, the green vinyl has uh, a woman's legs wrapped around this heart. <laughs> and I like, I like that design. The most optimal thing for me would have been if we could have the purple vinyl. Purple is my favorite color, more or less. Um, the purple vinyl in the sleeve with the legs would have been perfect. It would have been a perfect uh, combo for me. Yeah, and before I forget, and I almost did, we have this inner sleeve here. Heavy cardboard. Not very exciting here either, but... Uh, at least on the side here, we got the, the credits and, uh, you know, tells you here who uh, plays on what track. Now, the only thing I notice is this is this is a rare case, I think, where you're better off getting the CD because I know the CD has the lyrics on it. I mean, all the words to every song on it. There's a book in there. This one here. It just has the credits, but there uh, there are, are no words to the songs. <laughs> so the, the CD trumps this one in this case. Unless I'm missing anything here. 
folks, and I'm looking my best. I don't see any lyrics. Anyway, check out this album if you haven't already. Now, I'm telling you, there are at least a few people that I've read comments from who said, you know, they don't really even like the Stones that much, but they love this album. Now, that, that could be a good thing to diehard Stones fans, or or maybe a bad thing to them. Maybe a sign that maybe this isn't really the greatest Stones album if non-Stones fans are embracing it. I know uh, my girlfriend, who is not a big Stones fan, doesn't like Mick Jagger's voice at all, heard this with me in the car and CD, and she really liked it. She thinks it's a solid album. So, what does that tell you? Anyway, check out Hackney Diamonds, folks. Great album.